Hey guys, Grenokage here with a bit on multiboxing. Now, uh, if you've watched my videos, you should know by now that I multibox quite a bit. I don't run that many. I just run two primary tunes mainly. Got Grendel, Margus, and I do run a third tune, uh, my backpack. My lovely guy here, Beowulf. But how, how do I do that? How do you multibox box Eve Online? How do you switch between accounts? Do you click alt tab and then quickly go and find the thing you need and then click into it and then there you go then alt tab and go find the other one and click into it like, yeah you can switch and theoretically you can do multiple accounts that way but ultimately what i do and what's on screen up here is i use evo preview evo preview is these little tile boxes that you can click in between and it lets you effectively switch between clients. So if I want to go to Grendel, I switch Grendel, Marcus, Grendel, Marcus, Grendel, Marcus. And that way I can just go in between accounts. If you played EVE Online, you'll notice there's a lot of downtime in PvP. In that downtime, you can theoretically manage another account. And that is what multiboxing is. Taking that little bit of downtime or queuing up multiple actions and just being thoughtful of more than one thing. So I'm now managing two separate uh, lock queues. I'm now managing two separate uh, full-blown hot bars. As we see here on Marcus, he has F1 to F, I believe this is eight right now, F7. And then Grendel over here, I tend to also run maybe just F1, F5 like this, you'll see. And I'll click for this one, but it's just easy to do that. One F5. Um, I mean, theoretically, yeah, I should be using F1 to F7 here, but I do like the more compact setup I have on Grindle here with F1 to F5 and then having to click for the bottom two. But yeah, I'm managing all that. You know, maybe don't go off into billionaire ships when you learn to first start learning to multibox, but let's get into the basics of multiboxing, and that is getting your stuff set up. Uh, first, you should get EVO Preview. 100%. And with these little tiles, we can right click to move them. And I typically have them off screen to the right here. And you won't see them. I'm just going to have them bleed out a little bit here so you can see. But I'll go and I'll switch between my clients like this. I have a monitor to my left. But I'll keep them on screen for now for the video. Uh, let me know in the comments if you guys want me to keep these on my screen for fights. I was thinking something like this. And. I can switch in between. So instead of me going off screen, you guys see that I am going between the two. But if you haven't noticed yet in the background, my overview or my layout, my UI is perfectly match. How did I do that? Did I spend a bunch of time going like this in between clients and perfectly lining things up? No. Uh, there's a way to go into the files and just basically copying and renaming files a certain way. Uh, you can copy your UI set to the other characters. And that's what I want to show you today. And so if you haven't noticed, I also have my third alt here. And Beowulf, yeah, he isn't set up yet. So I just set up Marcus, and that's why he's perfectly matched to Grendel. They're perfectly matched. And then Beowulf here, he needs to get set up now. So again, you know, don't waste your time if you really care to have an, an exact match because you are going to start noticing little things that are off and it's going to make you angry. It's just better to go through and do this. It's a bit of work in the short term and then you'll just enjoy the benefits down the line. So take time and set up on one character that you care about, the UI that you want. Here on Grendel, that's what I did. I spent some time and I put my UI how I wanted it. Uh, and what I'm talking about is all these tabs everywhere. And if you see some of these tabs have multiple sub tabs, like selected item here, I put with drones. Down here, directional scanner, I have with notepad. Uh, over here, I have a couple chat channels, uh, inventory probe scanner. I even have a watch list is hooked into this one. And uh, fleet, if I open fleet, is hooked into this one. If I join a fleet, uh, that fleet chat is hooked over into this one. And yeah, I, I like to make sure I'm using the tabs with multiple tabs. Um, 
is typically you're not always in the same thing. When I'm using my probe scanner, I'm typically not watching for fleet broadcast, like probably in the middle of a fight versus when I'm scanning or I'm doing PVE, I'm not looking at fleet broadcasts. I'm looking over here to see for K162s where I'm actually, you know, scanning. So set up your UI how you prefer. And nowadays, since the overview top right over here, we can have multiple overviews. I highly recommend if you're in uh, PVP groups to set up a separate reviews tab. This is a really cool feature to do this. But uh, one thing if you haven't noticed too is between the three clients, I'm running the same overview and I don't know if that's gonna help with uh, the process later. So let me show you how to copy that to your friends or to your other clients. You do open overview settings. And then up here you just drag it to a chat and then they can then go ahead and open it. And this is a good way to save your overview. You can drag it to a uh, note card here, a notepad, and you can save it for later. And this is great for if you go in between computers that don't have this overview loaded up yet. When you log in on your account on a different computer, you can then load up your overview uh, because it's inside your notepad. So I think it's time to get uh, Beowulf set up here and show the process. Uh, first things first, let's turn off all the accounts. We got to quit game everywhere, start fresh. If we go to our local drive, we need to go find the settings. Um, go to your C drive or wherever you store your user files, go to users, uh, follow the tree through what user you are, to app data, to local, to CCP, to Eve, to Tranquility, and then once in Tranquility, we go to Setting Defaults, and here we finally are. Now, each character has two files associated to them, a user file and a character file. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna find the character that we spent time setting up our overview the way we want it. We're gonna find which one is theirs. And the way we do that is we log them in and then we just immediately log off. They'll be the most recent one. So let's do that with Grendel here. By the way, in Evo preview, when you uh, are on the login screen, the new tabs will show up in your top left here. So if you have multiple logging in at the same time, you might have to right click and drag tabs away because they'll be on top of each other right away. But log in Grendel here. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna immediately log off. I'll just do quit. And now it's gonna be the most recent file and there is the two files right there. The most recent one, 714, that is Grendel. So what we wanna do is fundamentally copy Grendel, Grendel settings to all these other ones. And how we're gonna do that is we're gonna first back up our files. It's very important we back everything up. I already did a backup but uh, might as well just make a new one to show you. Go into new, folder, backup to, do a control A in here, we're gonna do a control C, let's open this one up, let's do a control V. And then what I have is what's called a staging folder, up here. So this I know is Grendel's file, but I'm just gonna delete it for now to show. Go most recent, there's Grendel. I'm gonna control C, control V, and keep wanting to just drag. There's probably a, probably hold control or something to copy drag. So this is Grendel right here. And what we're gonna fundamentally do is just rename this file to the new characters we identify, and then copy and replace it in here. And if we ever have any issues, the backup is here to always revert on. Let's start with getting the other characters. Now we gotta log in the characters to identify the grouped, um, tags because it's kind of hard to see which one's which because look 35 then what 107 so where's the marked character with those one like you know it's really confusing so what you do is you log in the characters one at a time and Beowulf is going to log in so his files load and then his files will be the most recent one on top of that uh, left folder I have now that we're loaded we can go ahead and quit well, we can just note real quick that his UI right here, it looks like it's wrong. It's just the self-modified version of me trying to make it look similar. Let's go ahead and quit. Sort by most recent. 
can see right here, I accidentally clicked uh, to load Marcus, but this one right here is Beowulf. Uh, let's go ahead and now what we do is we right click, change name. We're gonna control C to copy. And we come on over here. We're gonna change this name to what Beowulf is. Click enter and do the same with car or character. Char, sorry. Paste that in, enter. And then now what we do is we copy these over, control C and paste them on over into your control V and we will replace those two files. And now when I load up Beowulf, he should have the new UI, so. And voila, he has the new UI. Perfectly matched. And that's how you do that. So this is what I meant when you load in three characters, they stack like that. You just gotta right click and move them if you wanna go to them really quick. They only stack right here in the top left corner for the login screen. They'll go where you set them um, once you're logged in, so. Once I log all these guys in right here, all these tabs will move where they were previously. Just like that. Great, so now that we have a perfectly matched UI on all our tunes, we can decide where we want our Evo preview to exist. If you play on one monitor, you have one choice. It's gonna be somewhere on your screen. Get creative, build these uh, uh, tiles into your screen as if it's one of these elements, but I'm gonna keep this one off the screen for now And let's reopen the Evo preview a uh, little uh, Hard well, let's look at some settings that might help us So if you're working on one screen what you can do is you can hide the active client And this is especially useful if you only playing with two clients So now the clients will just switch So I can stack them theoretically and now I can just switch between a single client in the corner. So that is a good way to dual box if you want to learn how to dual box. Um, getting the third client involved and having one stacked in the corner gets a little annoying because once you go to the third client, the two UIs are stacked on top of each other right here. and. Uh, it's a little annoying to have to double click to get to the second one. And uh, if you're recording footage like me, it's a little taxing on the user's eyes, I believe, to switch too much. I'm switching a lot right now because uh, I'm showing you this, but I try not to. And sometimes what I do is I'll set to only view like Rendel, and now you won't even see my stuff that I see. This is like the client view, not the desktop capture view. Now what I'm also thinking to do is something like this, where I will have Marcus and Grendel kind of alike, but just a little bit off. So I would remove this kind of tab and put it right here with this. Then move this kind of tab right here with this. And now they're not covering anything individually, but they're built in together and I always know my main's the top one my alt's the bottom one and then this way when I click my third one it's completely built in to the whole UI I hope this helped you um, I'm at 18 minutes of recording sorry <laughs> have a great day